Welcome to yet another episode of Varsity Club 602, where we are breaking down the 42 bowl games in college football for 2021. Next up, it's a big one, the Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl. Uh, we got uh, UAB, Alabama, Birmingham, and uh, BYU in this one. Uh, BYU, seven-point favorite, uh, over-under is 54 and a half. Josh, what do you have on the uh, Independence Bowl? What? Did BYU really come out number 12 this year? Or am I looking at something that, very, very wrong? That is accurate. BYU ranked number 12 to uh, enter bowl what? season here. What a... Uh... What terrible fate goes into actually pairing people up for the bowl games? Uh, so almost every bowl game has a contracted tie-in. Um, the tie-in for this iteration of the Independence Bowl. Oh, it's it's one of those. It's one of those complicated ones. Um, it pulls. Believe it or not, an independent. Uh, so it was independence against Kusa this year. Uh, so my guess is that BYU is the highest ranking independent uh, that they could grab, uh, with Notre Dame the only one ahead of them there. Fair enough. Okay. $2.2 million payout. Okay. Yeah, that was... Is it still the same this year? That was, that was 2019. Yeah, it was 2019. They didn't do it last year, so there's there's money in the coffers. Uh, BYU, a, a decent team this year. Um, they're they started the season ranked pretty highly, if I remember correctly. And if there's anything we know about both the AP poll and the college football playoff ranking, is that it's all absolute bullshit. Made up as we go along is the. Preferred Barely beat there. Arizona at Arizona. Beat a Utah team that ended up ranked number 10 because the Pac-12 sucks. Lo- got crushed. Well, not crushed. They, they lost by 9 to Boise State at home. I, I don't see anything on here that, that impresses me from BYU other than the fact that their talent level is way higher than a Conference USA team. Yeah, like, looking at them putting up 59 points to Idaho State, and that's 66 points on Virginia. Um, what's that over-under on this one? Over-under's 54 and a half. Ooh, that's an easy over. Um, yeah, unless... I have no idea what situation UAB would need to be in to be able to study their game that well to where they can pull that one out. But, yeah, that feels like an easy over. Yeah, I mean, a, a close what? comp, I guess you could use the closest comp. UAB lost to Georgia, 56-7. to BYU is not Georgia. No. I think I have to lay the points with BYU, go BYU minus 7. Uh, but yeah, that over under, I think that, I think that number gets blown away. I'm, I would be more shocked if the, just that point spread alone didn't get blown away than the over under. I would also take BYU minus seven handily. I just, yeah. This game, uh, played, uh, at independent stadium in, uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. So, uh, Do, oh man, do the UAB guys at least get because they're not taking home that that bag of money? Do they at least get a sweet gift bag? Let me pull it up here real quick. I don't know what the split is. Um, I don't know what the split. We'll, is. We'll take home something, but all right, UAB and the Independence Bowl. It is a uh, a fossil watch, a new era beanie. And a commemorative football. Okay, so I mean, not big on the uh, not big on the goodie bags this year, at least not in the early bowl games. Yeah, I'm sure they'll fill it out to get to that five hundred and fifty dollar mark the NCAA is clinging to. Um, so whatever a gift suite for whatever bowl game entails, 
Uh, but yeah, the the throw-ins for these early ones have not been have not been impressive at all. Not enticing, to say the least. Yeah, I don't know uh, if I'm gonna necessarily just get fired up for a fossil watch. Does fossil make uh, smart watches, Josh? Um, if they do, I can't imagine it's anything super impressive. Part watch, be very part wrong. smart watch. We are now a Fossil commercial podcast. Uh, if Fossil would like to send us smart watches, we will review yeah, them happily, honestly. Happily prove me wrong to say that these watches, but like even my Galaxy watch just feels like it's, well, that's like three generations old at this point. I just, I don't know if I see the, see the big appeal here. Well, you know, if if going to uh, the former home of the Shreveport Pirates of the Canadian Football League isn't enough to get you fired up, I am not sure what would do it. Yeah, I mean, you know what? At least we can confidently say that the kids at least have something that they can re-gift to a younger brother as a Christmas (laughs) present when they get done with this, but... Yeah, I, I think the more we make fun of the bowl game and the location, the more I have BYU minus seven. Um, I, I hope they show up and play angry that they're in this game. This is uh, December eighteenth. This is there is no notoriety to be found, uh, and to be the number twelve team and to fall into this because you refuse to join a conference. Uh, I mean, that's really really on you. But your players should play angry anyway. They should play angry that they aren't in a conference. Could not agree more. I think that's all I've got on the Independence Bowl, Josh. Yeah, I, I, I can't uh, say much more other than finding out that their uh, Fossil Gen 6 smartwatches are priced at $230. Why, why is that a thing when, like, the starting lineup for the Samsung current model is, like, around 200 What do you well, – what see, do they think? But a Fossil watch is a watch. It's part watch, part smartwatch, Josh. I mean, I don't – I'm not sure if we both understand what the concept of the smartwatch here is. The, the whole point is that they could both act as like a normal watch, but then also have smart features. I would assume <sighs> a hybrid smartwatch. Oh, both powered by Wear OS. Well, well, so good for you, Google. I don't know. Oh, it's, oh, it's got a, it's got mechanical market. hands. A hybrid has mechanical hands. M- maybe. Maybe that's an. I just. Oh, no, yeah. I mean, I'm looking at them right now. They are. Uh... No, I know. I, I I see that they've got the, the physical switches there. I just. Oh, and yeah. It, and it lasts for two weeks. You don't have to charge it every night because it doesn't actually have a smart display. Oh well, you know that's something. Yeah. Well, and overall, not bad looking. Yeah, great looking one. Okay. Yeah, Fossil, don't get us wrong. We would we would absolutely love to be sponsored by Fossil. We would absolutely love to give honest reviews and breakdowns. Um, I'd be pissed if I was in a bowl game and I got a Fossil watch. Yeah, I mean, like I, like I said, get a, a nice little gift for a, a younger brother and or sister, depending on you know, which watch you're getting here. But uh, yeah, not super, uh, not super thrilled knowing that at some point in time, some kid somewhere is getting a PS5 and you're getting a fossil watch. And that's what we've got for the Independence Bowl, guys. Uh, We will see you on the next episode of Varsity Club 602.